Battlefield, pretty expected choice. Uh, Quill's not really getting to use it very much. He's just getting hit around. I think uh, I don't. That that narrow approach was way too wide. I think he's just looking for stuff and trying to go ahead against a fox face first is not ideal. That back here. Um, I'm actually not sure, but I'm pretty sure G Money's just been going Fox the whole tournament. Uh, Quill's doing a good job not getting just rocked around, but at the same time, he's not getting a whole lot off. Bad edge guards decisions and wasted a very uh, a good uh, opportunity that he got. Now I just take. I think he might be somewhat too forceful trying to get these edge guards here. He's just sort of like not trying to cover options so much as just hit Fox hoping that the hitboxes are going to connect and it's not working out for him and it's losing him a lot of possible kills. Doing a good job of not getting uh, of SDIing those up up airs. This oh that's it's it's hard to really say anything. It's just a very dominant game for G Money. Dreamland, uh, the obvious pick, probably the best option, but I'm not sure if it would necessarily fix the problems he had in game one, but at the same time, it's going to make things easier for him in general, so he might as well. Very questionable reversed nail approach. Good use of lasers from G Money. I mean, with Puff, there's so much specifics uh, from percent as to when you can kill that 1% can make a big difference on how killable Puff is, especially on Dreamland. So he's just using those whenever Quill tries to reset things and take a breath. Makes it really hard for Quill to like calm his mind down.
again, we in, in the edge goat, he just kind of like jumped up and put out a nail. I, I guess thinking that the the forward B would be higher, but it's wasting big opportunities. is it it's unfortunate but I really can't blame him for going for it he needs to start getting stuff like this if he wants to catch up landing these edge guys as well it, it's something that subtly gets harder when, when you you know playing against someone that you vote that you struggle with already and that's just sort of a two above you. Having all your punish game on point, it always becomes sloppy, a loss, uh, loss of confidence in yourself. laughing that one off. Fountain, uh, I feel like he probably just wants to change up the stage in general, just keep G-Money, count him on his toes, but this will open him up to a lot of kills off the side. Which is a uh, not as Facing Fox a lot on these approaches, and that's gonna let Fox get things like that. Uh, especially if you're not careful. Some of these are just too wide of approaches. off of that but do you 
Chinese use of shines good enough so far. But, oh, okay, here we go. Alright, so Quill gets the stock. That's at the very least a big confidence booster, but it's not gonna matter. Uh, Fox invincibility is a big thing that doesn't get talked about a lot. It's he can really just come in and kill you.